social media, and recruiting. This is the Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 185. Welcome to the world's longest running podcast on recruiting and athletic scholarships. I'm John Fugler. As an athletic scholarship coach and a recruiting author, I want to help you as a family succeed in the recruiting world and get a scholarship for your student athlete. I'm a dad of two scholarship athletes myself and also the CEO of Recruit Me. Our sponsor is the Athletic Scholarship 24-Month Recruiting Planner and Journal, your all-in-one resource for a successful recruiting experience. It is brand new and it's out. It's available on Amazon. And if you have Prime like I do, you can have it in a couple days. So go get it. Action produces traction. So this weekly 15-minute podcast will help you get that traction. It'll change your scholarship future. You can find every episode uh, and your favorite podcast app and also on my website at recruitme.com. So I encourage you to go ahead and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you can make sure you get it every Tuesday. Well, we're going to talk about an important issue that's out there, and that is social media and recruiting. It's just uh, booming more and more, and there's a lot of uh, misunderstandings, uh, people asking for some help in this area, and where does it fit in the recruiting process? And and I was reading uh, this article in USA Today, and I was, this, this quote, uh, this statement by a college coach really hit me in the face, and I think it'll hit you too, from uh, Mike Gundy of Oklahoma State Football. He said, it's information, referring to social media, that's available to all of us. So it's information we include in our evaluation process. We have people on our football staff that track every one of our players and every one of our recruits. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? They don't just stop when you're, when you're recruiting on the team. They keep it up. He says, I remind my guys every week about that. I, I just tell our guys to stay off social media, especially if you can't behave. I have three sons and I tell them the same things. I just don't understand how taking a picture of what you're doing and presenting it for the whole world to see makes any sense. Why would you do something questionable and incriminate yourself by posting about it? That kind of behavior has certainly cost some young men an opportunity to play football at Oklahoma State. Hmm, pretty, pretty straightforward there. Another coach said that social media is also a great way to communicate and learn about the prospects we are recruiting at Clemson. Uh, He says, we have an entire office whose sole duty is to go through the social media of our prospects. An entire office? (laughs) Bet you didn't know that. It's kind of scary. I don't want to scare you anymore, but uh, at our our kids' alma mater, Air Force, uh, Troy Calhoun, who is doing an outstanding job. I mean, this year was, I think, the winningest year in Air Force uh, football in many, many years. Uh, Congratulations to Coach Calhoun. And he says this, he said, there's so many good indicators regarding maturity and the respect and dignity you're showing others, he says, through social media. Now, you can essentially form a pretty good character opinion on a recruit before you even meet them in person. And unfortunately, all it takes is one negative post to deter a coach from recruiting you. So it seems like there are a lot of warnings in there about using social media, but it is a positive thing, and both programs and prospective student-athletes are using social media. You are. How can you use it wisely and beneficially for you as a recruit? Now, I, I have to say that this episode, especially parents who's mainly my audience, I want you to play this for your son or daughter. Maybe stop it right here, go back to the beginning, get them in the room and say, man, we got to listen to this or send them a link and make it their assignment that they listen to this episode. Because as as you can tell, even so far, this whole thing of social media, it's blowing up and I don't want your son or daughter to blow themselves up with this. Okay. But um, we're going to get into this. I'm going to share some things with you and uh, that will be beneficial as you use social media. It's, as you can see, it's a major re- recruiting tool, both for uh, you and for coaches. It, it can be your best friend or your worst enemy, as I say. Uh, just like any tool in your recruiting toolkit, you have to learn how to use it to get the best results. If not, you'll hurt yourself. Don't get the hammer out, the saw out. Uh, don't get the power saw out and cut off a finger, okay? Well, you got to have your social media tool. You got to use it 
use it correctly. So let's run through a few things in our short time that we have together. Uh, the first area about making first contact. Well, some do recommend using social media messaging to make initial contact with coaches, but I advise against that tactic. Uh, and, and because of this, you want to stand out. You don't want to blend in with all the other athletes. If you're one of hundreds or thousands that's messaging a coach or texting a coach, how are you going to stand out? What, what makes you different? Why would a coach uh, click on a link that you send or respond to you or if it's Twitter, turn around and follow you when he or she doesn't know anything about you? I say don't use this for your first impression. Now, I wouldn't go as far as uh, what Mike Gundy said is don't use social media at all. Uh, cancel that. Cancel all your accounts. I tell my kids to cancel their accounts. Don't use it. No, I, I wouldn't say that, and I think that he's a little extreme in, in his opinion. But don't use social media messaging for making your first contact. Go through the steps that shows that uh, you're doing the work. It's, it's easy to shoot a text or uh, a Twitter message, Facebook message. However, it doesn't show much initiative or depth on your part. It'll appear that you're, you're fishing, which you really are. You're just kind of fishing for schools, and that's a, it's a lazy way of doing it, actually. Coaches are overwhelmed with messages, as I mentioned, and getting one from a stranger just doesn't cut it. It, it could work against you. You're not making yourself memorable. You want to make yourself memorable, especially that first impression. Um, be sure to stay on top of the recruiting calendars and guides to know what date coaches are permitted to uh, begin to respond to you via social media. Uh, you may send out some texts, some messages, and you're not getting any response because coaches are limited on when, according to the recruiting calendar, that they can respond to you. Um, and if you don't get a response, then that's one of the reasons why. But I don't, just don't, re, uh, don't, don't use it as your initial contact. Once you have a conversation going with a coach, social media is a great way to stay in contact. But don't be a pest. <laughs> have something constructive to say. Uh, you can also like or share a coach's posts to show your interest. It's a way to build that relationship. It's not just a, a one-way street. Uh, social media, I believe, is not a good way to send coaches updates. Uh, you don't want to attach or link your profile or present other important recruiting documents that way. I, I recommend email for that. Now, if, you're, if you've got a good relationship with the coach and you've been communicating back and forth for quite a while and, and you've got this kind of instant relationship going, then, then maybe do it that way. But your messages can get lost in the shuffle. Email messages at least sit there in the in the email box, <laughs> and and that way the coach will make sure you can make sure the coach uh, sees your communication, your important document. In previous episodes and in my book, the Athletic Scholarship Playbook, I, I talk about sending updates and the documents that you can send uh, throughout the recruiting experience. And I just say don't don't use social media to uh, get that message out and get those documents out, okay? Don't, don't link to those documents through social media. Um, let's talk a little bit about how coaches use social media. Coaches use social media to research recruits, as you've seen. Just in my quotes from these, these three coaches here, college coaches, yeah, they're, they're using it to research you. Now, football's a little different. They've got a huge staff. Basketball has a sizable staff. Some of the minor sports they're not going to do as much research on you, but that is, that's something they're, they're going to do. I hear that across the board on all sports. It's not that they, you know, the baseball coach doesn't have an entire office like the football coach does working on scouring social media to find out more about the recruits. It doesn't work that way. It's less sophisticated. However, the principle is the same. They are looking. They're using it to research recruits. They can tell a lot about you by your posts by your profile, by your friends. Your character is on display. It is. Uh, so is your, your ability, your talent to communicate, uh, to spell, to express yourself, your grammar. Remember, you're a student athlete, and now all of a sudden, 
because you're in this recruiting world, you kind of lost your privacy a little bit. You, you become, as a recruit, because you've chosen to be a recruit, you're, you're on display. Your character, as I said, is on display. So you have to watch what you say, how you say it, how you spell, your grammar, all of that. Um, it's a very serious issue. Uh, posting clean and positive things will attract coaches. As I, one of the coaches here mentioned, uh, questionable posts have even been known to cause coaches to pull back their efforts and, and cancel their efforts to recruit you. So coaches are using social media, and you need to be using social media as well. It's a, it's a great tool. One of the things, as uh, I'd like to mention here, is that um, you may want to reduce the number of social media accounts that you have if you're in the recruiting process. I'm going to go through some things next week that will give you some tips on exactly how to use social media. I want to get specific, a little more in-depth. I, I wanted to rattle your cage a little bit this week. But one of the things I can tell you, and I'll discuss this next week as well, is because social media is so important, and because coaches are looking at your social media accounts, you could really go crazy trying to make sure everything is just right. And you don't want to do that. You're a student athlete. Yeah, social media is good. It's part of the recruiting experience and process. However, I don't want you to get sucked in by becoming just a social media person who's making sure your accounts uh, are absolutely perfect. And we'll go through some things on how to do that next week. Why don't you pick one? Make that one social media channel yours. Maybe cancel other accounts or, or two, one or two, if, if you want to do it that way. However, if, you, if you've got too many platforms that you're using, you're going you're gonna to find yourself trying to cover too much ground in social media, and it's going to actually detract from your recruiting efforts, okay? It'll detract from your athletic efforts. It'll detract from your academic efforts. Those are the most important things. Uh, and, and my assignment to you this week then is make that decision. Which is uh, the one social media account that you'll keep? Because you are in the recruiting process here. What, what will that, that one be that you will keep and then you'll do the things that I'll be talking about next week to really build that up and make that um, a way to put yourself on display in a good way, in a way that the coaches will respond, they'll respect you, they will want to recruit you. Uh, so talk that over this week. Which accounts will you close down? Maybe you can't narrow it down to one. You say, well, i, I got to have two. I've got to have it. I'm not going to mention the ones. I don't want to put any thoughts in your head. But look at this and see which of these accounts that uh, you need to close down, okay? I, I think it may help you out anyway because you'll spend less time on social media and more time on the things that really matter. You're in a world now where you're going to be one of those scholarship athletes pursuing an athletic scholarship, and you got to do things differently. You're going to have to make some choices. You've already had to make choices with the way you spend your time as an athlete. You can't do a lot of those other things that your friends might be doing who aren't athletes. They've got more time, but you're disciplining yourself to spend your time towards your sports, towards your academics. Of course, you've got other interests as well, but you're making choices all the time, and this is another choice you're going to have to make so you're not totally consumed by social media. Social media is big. It's part of the recruiting process, and you've got to make sure you capitalize on that and don't get lost in the world of social media uh, and, and do some things that will be detrimental to your recruiting efforts. So athlete, that's for you. Parents, you can work with your, your student athlete, your son or daughter, and, and in this process next week, we'll talk about some specific ways that you can maximize and use social media to the best of your ability towards this athletic scholarship. I hope you found that helps. Uh, if you need more information, I want to point you to a couple things. One is uh, the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. That's available on Amazon. 
It's a, it's a wise purchase. And then the companion that goes with that, mentioned earlier, the Athletic Scholarship 24-month recruiting planner and journal. It is out. I promised you a, a big release party. We're going to do that, but there's still some hiccups with Amazon right now because they slowed it down. I need to put that on hold, but it's out there now. You can go ahead and get it at a reduced price. So there we have it. That's this week. Next week, we're going to continue this discussion on social media and recruiting.